Hello YouTube, it's Friday. This is Heather from Atomic Monsters doing some little housekeeping cleaning around the house and I found these marvelous Transformer knockoffs. Uh, they are of the dinosaur line as you can tell. They are hilariously uh, neon colored which is very much in the vibe of the 80s and they are obviously not real Transformers. I did a little bit of internet research on these and I couldn't actually find what I was looking for. Now I have seen this particular model before. I've had this before. I sold it before. I honestly, I can't remember how long it's been, but I could not uh, at this point in time find the information. I tried searching a couple different ways. So if you know any information about these, drop the info in the link. Uh, my brain unfortunately is escaping me as to... Um, like if this was like a Tyco or, or whatnot. Um, this particular one, uh, has the stickers are pretty good on it. Just a bit here where the sticker is kind of coming off. And, uh, other than that though, um, the stickers are here. I don't know if this ever has stickers here. Um, so that one is pretty, in pretty good condition. This one, I don't know if it ever had stickers or not. Uh, it... It's a little, they don't, they're not tight. Um, that's always been like one of the complaints I've had with Transformers is you play with them for a little bit and then they, their legs get this like weeble wobble thing going here. Um, this one still has its stickers here on its uh, stomach, which is nice. Uh, one of the things I always found interesting about, about knockoffs and some of the Transformers was the hand uh, position. So it's one of the things. And I always love this. This is like the most simple flip up head thing. Uh, I love how the mouth opens. And then we have the uh, Brontosaurus or Diplosaurus or Diplodocus. I can't remember. This one has uh, some stickers on it still, which is nice. Again, the legs are really loose. Uh, however, still, you know, for a vintage toy uh, of knockoff quality, the plastic feels fairly thick and decent, which is nice. You know, a lot of knockoff toys are super duper cheap and, you know, they fall apart in two seconds, which is nice. Uh, always a great thing when you're a kid. Uh, this one's mouth opens as well. And then you just flip the whole head back and there's its little teeny tiny head. So I thought I'd just give you guys a quick uh, look at these. Uh, let's see if I can transform one. I'm terrible at transformers. Uh, Patricia can attest to this. I always feel like I'm going to break them at any point in time. Like I'm just going to snap them in half. Uh, this was not a toy line that I actually had as a child. Um, my parents, while they did indulge me in a lot of my uh, toy requests for non-traditional toys, transformers were not not one of the ones that they uh, that they got me as a child. I had all the He-Man stuff and the Shira stuff, but that was about as far as it went. So that's it. That's the transformation. You pull the little hands out here. Uh, there you go. That's it. It's a fairly simple transformation. As far as for a child, like say a child of five or six, I, I think these are pretty decent. Um, <clears throat> See, I always feel like I'm gonna. I just feel like I'm gonna break them at any point in time. Always have. Um, I've had had or seen horror stories of people buying really expensive vintage transformers and then <laughs> going to do the transformation and snapping off parts. Uh, and I'm sure there's lots of videos on YouTube with this as well. So that's how that one transforms. Let's try good old Stegosaurus. So there's its head, and you just kind of like pull the legs apart like that. This is the part where I'm always like, oh my god, I'm going to break it. Yeah, I don't even, I don't even think I can pull this one out. It's like so tight. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Um, god, and that's not even out all the way. I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to transform it all the way. Uh, at least not on that side. Um, so you pull it out. It's got to go past like the leg crook here. Oh, God, it's so tight. And then the little hand uh, just pops out like that. So the transformations are simple compared to, say, standard transformers. 
However, uh, still, still really cool. I think just the overall aesthetic, um, in terms of the coloration, I, I really like. It just gives that very 80s uh, neon vibe. And here's the last one. Uh, this one's transformation is actually a little less impressive. Uh, I do remember this. So you have to pull the tail out. Oh, God, this one's even tighter than the last one I had. Oh, there we go. Okay. And it's got a little notch that the leg pops into on this one. Uh, I don't know if you can really see it. There it goes. And then the head just tips back. And the, the actual legs become the arms. You just push these in like that. Um, and then I never, I never, oh. I don't remember if this actually does anything. Just, just a piece of plastic. Uh, so that's how that one transforms. The problem with this one is, is once you pop in the legs in this place, um, it becomes very tippable. It just, just, bloop, just tips right over. Uh, so maybe not the best design on this one. However, still a really cool, uh, design they do hold well together in terms of if you're in a dinosaur mode they stay in the dinosaur mode if they're in the the robot mode they do seem to stay in robot mode as well uh my son has some of the newer transformers the bayformers um as patricia is fond of calling them and i've i've now picked that up and i'm assuming a lot of other people call them that as well those never stay together. They don't stay together as a car, and they don't stay together as a uh, robot. And that really, really irritates my son. Uh, he's really big into robots. Uh, this is a little awkward when it's just like, oh, look, its arms are just hanging out um, when it's in robot form. But there they are. Uh, they are a wonderful piece of knockoff history. Everybody... You know, we can debate the intellectual property rules and everything. Um, however, I just want to give a little quick vid. These are going to go up on eBay. I will... I don't know if I can link... Put the link in the description. I don't know if YouTube will allow that or not. I know I can't link this video in the, descri in the description of the sale. They get really... eBay gets really finicky about that kind of stuff. But they will go up on, on for sale. Um, I'll probably have them listed individually since I'm sure people may have this one, but not these two or whatnot. Uh, but I just thought I'd give you guys a little taste uh, of something I found when I was cleaning out. Surely um, something fun for why we're all stuck at home. All right, YouTube friends, short video today. Have a great day and stay safe out there.